our new lieutenant governor has made no secret of his passion for this, for this issue. Um, I suspect he'll work very hard to get legislation passed in the Senate um, in this regard. As far as the House is concerned, the very public uh, display early in the last session uh, via an amendment, not a bill, was an expression against um, this type of approach. And if my memory is correct, it was over 100 members that voted no. Um, so there may have been a shift in attitude there, could well be. And um, I think even Chairman Acock has said he's not afraid to have the discussion. Um, again, confidence in the subject matter. Details matter. And I think generally speaking, the House is a place where we will legislate seriously. And uh, we're going to vet every serious bill that comes through and thoroughly take a look at the details um, and not say, not say no uh, to anything on the, on the front end until we, until we have a chance to chew on it, talk about it, think about it. And the devil has generally been in the details on those voucher bills in the past. In the well, that's the, that's the way the House has seen it yeah. uh, in the past. And I, I don't have any indication that there's been a major shift away from that. Um, but, you know, I don't, as, as Chairman Acock said, there's no, no harm in talking about it. Uh, for, uh, somebody I know that works in the, on the advocacy <laughs> side for the private school said that Chairman Acock had gone from over my dead body to maybe I'll hear about it. <laughs> so. Hey, well. <laughs> That's progress for them. I guess it would be, yeah.